good evening excellencies distinguished guests ladies gentlemen sisters and brothers in peace from all over the world on behalf of the program committee and the program staff i welcome you all to the 2015 parliament of the world's religions for the next 4 days we will focus on the parliament theme reclaiming the heart of humanity working together for a world of compassion peace justice and sustainability by deliberating on the issues of poverty hunger and income inequality war violence hate and terrorism climate change and care for the earth multitude of religious and spiritual traditions from all over the world are represented at this parliament together together we have convened one of the largest gatherings of the worldwide interfaith movement here in salt lake city we all have the opportunity to interact to engage to connect and to learn from each other in our own faith traditions we get a lot of opportunity for intra faith understanding let us devote these four days for inter faith learning and i would like to remind ourselves that the three guiding principles that we all must adhere to include respectful dialogue which embodies listening and speaking with respect non proselytizing we are not here to convert or to look down at other faith traditions we are here to learn to love and to respect and willingness to explore a wide variety of topics by being compassionate while engaging in difficult conversations i would like to thank the members of the program committee the program staff and more than 20 evaluation committees for their hard work for almost a year to put together the program for this parliament please give all of them a big round of applause we accepted more than 1200 proposals out of the 2000 plus that were submitted i wish each presenter could have been given a full 90 minute slot however to accommodate these many programs and panels leading and panels it was necessary to combine presentations workshops and panels leading to shared sessions is my humble request that when you are in those shared sessions please be considerate to all the panelists and presenters so that everyone can get fair amount of time there will be two volunteers in each rooms and if you have any problem with equipment they are there to help you please recognize these many volunteers who are working hard to make our lives comfortable <clears throat> please consult the parliament app for the latest updates on programs and rooms program staff is available at the very end of the registration desk if you have any issue please go there and consult with them i would like to also announce that the imam of the grand holy mosque of mecca is going to deliver his keynote address on sunday 
during the climate change plenary, which starts at 3.30 p.m. <clears throat> the Imam is also going to lead the Friday congressional prayers at the Hilton Hotel Grand Ballroom tomorrow, starting at 1.15 p.m. Last but not the least, I thank each and every one of you for coming to attend the parliament. Especially, I want to extend my gratitude and thanks to all the presenters, performers, panelists, and workshop conductors. Will everyone who is presenting, can you stand for 10 seconds and be recognized? Thank you, thank you very much. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, let us make this parliament the most memorable event of our life. Meet, greet, smile, and say hello, hi, namaste, salam, shalom, as you pass one another. We may not know each other, but this is the largest family of spiritual and religious people who, have, who are gathered here in Salt Lake City. Enjoy every moment of your stay in Salt Lake and go back with even a stronger resolve that yes, indeed, the spiritual and religious people can make lives better and bring peace on this earth. May God bless you. Thank you. <clears throat>